Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a game between Zigbert Tarash and the Rundberg. This extremely beautiful chess game was played in Nuremberg, Germany, in 1893. Zigbert Tarash had white pieces, and note that he is missing the rook on a1. Tarash had white pieces, and he started with e4. Romberg played e5. Knight to f3, knight to c6, d4. He takes on d4. Bishop to c4. This looks like scotch gambit, doesn't it? Scotch game. Bishop to c5. Knight to g5, threatening bishop or knight takes on f7. Defending. More pressure on the pawn. Romberg castle at kingside. f4. Queen to e8. Tarash castle kingside. d3. Discover check. King to h1. d takes on c2, attacking the knight. The obvious move. d6. f5. Intending f6. Knight to e5, attacking the bishop on c4. Knight to d5. King to h8. Well, the strongest move here is knight from e to g4. But you will see the reason why king to h8. f6 and now bishop to g4 attacking the queen. Pawn takes pawn check. King takes pawn. Play with black pieces was putting his hopes on this position. Queen is under attack and he was expecting queen to h4. If queen to h4 then f5 and black is okay. Black was surprised by the move that white played. Please pause the video and try to find the best move for white. What did you find? Zigbert Tarash sacrifice the queen this is check king takes queen knight to e6 discovered check king to h5 knight from d to f4 check king to h6 if king goes to h4 then g3 checkmate so we have king to h6 knight to e2 discover check King to g6. Ah, finally, black can relax. His king is safe. So he thought. There was another surprise from Tarash. Why tomorrow? What would you do? Please pause the video and find the best move for white. The best move is. Rook to f6, check, sacrificing another piece. King takes rook. What if black doesn't take? If king goes to h5, then rook to h6, check, mate. So we have king takes rook, but now bishop to g5, check, king to g6, white to move and to checkmate in one. The move is f on 2 to f4, checkmate. This is an art. Do you agree? And as you can see, Tarash didn't need his rook on a1. Well, Romberg didn't use his rook neither. And let's go back to these most interesting positions of the game. This is the first one. Did you see the queen sacrifice? If you did, you've done well. But what about second position that required rook sacrifice? Did you see rook sacrifice in this position? If you did, congratulations. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.